John Lesker of Lesker Archery Adventures, serious testing, successful hunting. Today I'm going to be testing a really cool broadhead that's just hit the market. It's by Magnus and it's their single bevel two blade head. It's pretty cool to see Magnus entering that market. They've long earned a great reputation for producing high quality broadheads with a lifetime guarantee and at a really reasonable price. And this uh, the single bevel two blade is just adding on to that. I met with Mike, the owner and designer, earlier this year at the ATA in St. Louis, had a good conversation. And man, this is just a nice looking broadhead here. So I'm eager to put it to the test and I'm gonna be using my process for 2024. And for a detailed description of that, please check out the video that I posted earlier this year called 2024 Broadhead Test Process. And it'll walk you through all the tests that I do and why that I do them, how I score them and quantify them and so forth. And I'm going to be using my Elite Era for most of the shooting. I am loving that bow. And I'm going to be using the Killer Instinct SWAT X1 crossbow for the accuracy testing. And for all the arrows, I'm using Bishop Archery arrows, three different arrows, and, or two arrows in a, in a bolt that I'm using for all the testing because they really perform exceptionally well. All right, let's zoom on in here and check out this Magnus Single Bevel 2 blade and then put it to the test. Here's a good look at this broadhead. And man, this is just a nice looking two blade single bevel broadhead. Love the way that spins. Everything is so precise and really tight specifications. Let's start with the materials. First of all, the, uh, the blades are made out of a 420 stainless steel and they're brought to a Rockwell hardness of 50 to 52. So really nice hardness there. And the, uh, the ferrule is a 7075 T6 aluminum, which is stronger than uh, some steels. If you're going to use aluminum, that's a, that's the best one to use. That's a really nice aluminum. You can see the overall design. It's single bevel, and uh, this is right single bevel, this model, and um, it's sharpened on the back sides to make it easier to pull out and also to aid in cutting if it backs out of an animal. As for the dimensions, the length is one and three quarter inches beyond the end of the arrow, and the, uh, the cutting diameter is one and one thirty second inches so pretty small cutting diameter just over an inch that way and the thickness of the blades is 0.06 inches thick so really a uh, stout blades too it looks like it's going to be a really good head to uh, to penetrate deeply into big animals or with a light setup for resharpening you can have challenges getting a, a curve like this sharpened but I like using a stay sharp guide C kit and that's just designed for for all concave or convex heads. And man, it, it really works well on a broad head like this. So really eager to put this head to the test and see how it performs. It got a solid nine ring. It took 170 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 10 on a 10 point scale, plus a 0.3 point bonus for being under the standard of 200. It penetrated eight and a half inches. It took an additional 25 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 9.5 on a 10 point scale. It penetrated through 51 layers. It rotated five degrees at 11 and a half inches. And to put it in perspective, that's a pretty slight rotation. Now, some people prefer that because it often means it's gonna penetrate more deeply without using its energy to rotate. But then some people want more rotation because it tends to make a rounder hole and cut more tissue as it rotates and breach bone more effectively. It's in perfect shape after the three shots through the MDF.
And here it is after the two shots through the steel plate. You can see first the holes. They're nice holes, a classic S-cut, good single bevel rotation. They're not super wide, just one and one thirty seconds of an inch in diameter there. And then as for the broad head, you can see the, uh, the head held together well structurally, but got a bit of edge chatter there. That's just due to the 30-degree beveling as well as the stainless steel. Uh, it experienced uh, a, a bit of edge chatter. Here it is after all the durability testing, and it did perfectly well through the MDF. Through the steel plate, it got a bit of edge chatter. Um, not, not a ton, but it was very noticeable. Um, then into the concrete, it just did fantastic and still spins perfectly true. Really great durability. So what'd you think? Man, it performed really well, right? I mean, if you're looking for a solid, single bevel, two blade broadhead, this is one really worth considering. They did a really outstanding job with it. So you check out the score sheet and see how it performed in the areas that matter to you the most. See if it might be a good fit for you. And stay tuned for the overall cumulative score as well as the corresponding lust grade. And also stay tuned for a list of all the discount codes that I offer for broadheads that I really think can get the job done in an exceptional way and uh, as well as some other pieces of gear that I have discount codes for just to save you some money. But thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.